Hi, my name is Clarice Sidibajiza and I'm the CEO of Hey Hey and I'm the E-Trade for Women Advocate for Eastern Africa. I started my business uh, when I was 22 years old um, as a junior in college studying computer engineering. I was part of an MIT run incubation program that was an opportunity for me to actually connect the dots of what I was learning in school and how I could apply that in my community to solve a problem. And this for me was the launch pad for Hehe, a geolocation company that was looking to connect people to products and services that they needed uh, using their mobile phones. Um, starting my company young, I think the biggest challenge for me was the inexperience that I had, um, inexperience as a leader, uh, inexperience in terms of um, you know, business uh, knowledge, the ability to um, build some of the products and ideas and just realize them. Uh, that was one of the biggest challenges for me in getting my business started, identifying talent and just building a team. Uh, yeah, so that, that, that would, that would, I would say that was my biggest challenge getting started. Um, I think for us to have more women in the digital space, uh, we really need to start early. We need to start uh, when the girls are young and build the right kind of environment, ecosystem around them to encourage them to pursue whatever dreams, whatever ambitions that they have. Um, because one of the things that we've realized in the work that we do when we try to reach out to high school students, university students, or girls that are already um, um, in the work environment, Sometimes it's, it seems as though it is too late for you to make any difference in terms of having more women in, in, tech, in tech or in STEM uh, related areas. So starting young, encouraging them, creating an environment where, they are, um, where they're able to see other role models and be inspired by other women um, pursuing careers in STEM, if, in, my, in my opinion, is you know, critical for us to do. The use of digital technologies is definitely transforming our ecosystem. Um, for me, just having access to internet gave me, um, opened a, a door to opportunities that uh, were countless. I was able to access knowledge and information to help me build my business. And this is not just a unique case for, for me. Uh, a lot of people have been able to tap into uh, different opportunities, whether it's uh, knowledge, skills, but also women have been able to build businesses um, leveraging digital technologies in our communities. We've seen the power of e-commerce, for example, in enabling you know, a small uh, mom and pop shop or a farmer somewhere in, in, in a remote area, uh, being able to use mobile money, being able to use um, the internet to access markets uh, in places that would probably not have been able to were, were it not for digital technologies. So, um, things around financial inclusion um, uh, have, you know, I've seen a transformation there as a result of digital technologies, uh, access to knowledge, access to information uh, that has empowered people to do the things that a generation before were impossible. So that, that has really brought about a significant transformation uh, in my community. Um, you know, for me, when I think about my biggest success, I would say being a part of um, being a part of building the technology ecosystem in Rwanda. So it's not just been about my business, but seeing the impact that we've had beyond Hehe um, in terms of inspiring other young entrepreneurs to get started. Uh, this was not something that was. Um, common uh, in our society when we got when we when we got started as a startup. Um, similarly, um, being able to uh, just train over 450 young people through our innovation academy is something that has been transformative in my community, um, and I would say it's one of the biggest successes. We we've seen a lot of young people that are now technology leaders running their own businesses as a result of. Um, hey, hey, just being in this in, in the Rwandan tech ecosystem, and for me, that's uh, I would say is one of our biggest successes. 
uh, over and above that building products that you know have impacted people's lives, uh, especially people that um, constitute a huge percentage of our uh, population, which is women, women in agriculture more specifically. Um, for me, that, that's also uh, one of our biggest successes. Yeah. I think my biggest failure um, has been taking our vision for granted, I would say. Um, at, at some point in our journey, we partnered with um, lots of different people. And um, in this specific case where we, we um, partnered with an entity that pretty much derailed us from, from, from uh, the focus of our vision. And I honestly thought that this was a partnership that made sense. Um, however, uh, I did not realize how important it was to be led by our vision, to stay focused uh, on our vision and just being able to come back from that experience and start to rebuild the company to be more purpose driven uh, for me was one of the most difficult things I've had to do and I would say it's been one of my biggest failures. Just recognizing the, the importance of being purpose driven as an organization and sticking to that. And the, the plan may change well, what you want to do, but the purpose doesn't really change. I've been blessed as a woman in the tech space in Rwanda uh, because it's something that has been highly encouraged. I mean, I feel like I came just at the right time. Uh, I came on the scene just at the right time when. There was a lot of government support, a lot of institutional support for women, um, and specifically women uh, looking to get into technology, uh, whether it's from an academic standpoint or um, career standpoint. And for me, this, this was a huge encouragement, uh, but I also came from a background where my family was really encouraging and supported me to be able to you know, feel like I could achieve anything that I set my mind to. So those, uh, those two um, unique experiences for me have really made it easy for me to be a woman in technology. The opportunities that are available um, for women in technology in my, in my, in my community are immense. And uh, I would say that it, it's actually uh, been much, much easier than it would have been uh, a couple of years ago or maybe in another environment. I became an e-trade for women advocate uh, because I saw an opportunity to pay forward um, a lot of the opportunities and um, guidance that I had received from a lot of people that supported me along the way uh, when I was getting started. Um, I could not be where I am without the support that I got from a lot of mentors, um, whether it was um, through uh, various entrepreneurs, um, the government, and each trade for Women Advocacy gives me an opportunity to play a role in helping the next um, generation of women that are looking to get into business, get into technology, leverage the digital economy uh, to make a difference uh, for themselves and for their communities. So for me, this, this was a no-brainer. It's something that I'm passionate about because I've benefited so much from others giving of themselves to help me achieve my, my dreams. I'm a risk taker. I'm a team player. I am a little introverted. Pretty formal. I'm mostly intuitive. I try to be analytical, but I'm mostly intuitive. Definitely both, I dream and do.